Okay, pure water. A single water molecule is bonded together covalently. So the hydrogen and the oxygen atoms share electron covalently. The hydrogen-oxygen bond, however, is polar. That means the electrons are not equally shared. Since oxygen is much more electronegative than hydrogen, the electron density mostly resides on the oxygen, or you can say that the oxygen pulls uh, most of the electron density to itself. This leaves little electron density on the hydrogen. Since oxygen is electron rich and hydrogens are electron poor, we call these kinds of bond polar bonds um, because there is not an equal sharing of the electron density, which is what a non-polar bond would have. And we indicate the electron rich region with a delta uh, minus symbol and the electron poor region with a delta plus symbol. Now most liquids have a quite simple behavior. When they cool, um, they shrink. This is because molecules have much less kinetic energy at lower temperature. Uh, so the intermolecular forces become stronger and the, mo the molecules struggle to break those forces to move around freely. But when water goes below 4 degrees Celsius, the water molecules lose most of its motion, so it won't move at all practically. And when things don't like to move, they like to arrange themselves into a crystal structure, forming what we know as a solid. Normally, a solid is the densest form of matter. But there are many exceptions, and water is, is one of them. In the case of water, the water molecules arrange itself into a hexagonal lactase. This lactase, uh, see the spaces here, contains more space than liquid state. So the freezing point of pure water is zero degrees, but it starts to structure itself into a hexagonal form from four degrees. So when you cool liquid water down from say room temperature, it will shrink like most liquid would, uh, because molecules move around a lot less until it gets to 4 degrees, which is where it starts to arrange itself into this hexagonal crystal structure and then it will expand until every single water molecule fall into the hexagonal lactase, which we know as ice. This is why ice flows on liquid water, because it's less dense. Here is what the lactase looks like in 3D. The fact that ice flows on liquid water has allowed nature to create phenomenal ecosystems around the attics, uh, where the icebergs would float on top and act as an insulating layer, like a blanket, protecting the liquid water from below, from the cold air on top, and thus prevent the water uh, at the bottom from freezing allowing living organisms to live below the um, icebergs. One really spectacular example is Lake Vostok. Feel free to do a bit of research on this. Essentially, uh, scientists have found a lake uh, at the southern pole of coal beneath Russia's Vostok station under an ice sheet of 2.2 miles thick and they are speculating that there are organisms trapped underneath from 15 to 25 million of years ago that have been protected by the very thick ice sheet.